Welcome to Easy Eats. My name is Chef Eve Deshane, and today we're in the Greener Villages Learning Kitchen with Regina Kino from Brazilian Mix uh, Cafe. Welcome, Regina, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. So, what are we going to make today? Um, today, I make um, one is famous snacks in Brazil. It's coxinha. Coxinha. Here, here, people uh, know it's a um, chicken ball. Oh, okay. So it's a Brazilian yeah, chicken, chicken ball. Chicken ball. Yes. Oh, that, that, that's really neat. Cool. Yeah. So, um, okay. So uh, let's uh, let, let's talk about that a little bit. So you're from Brazil. Yes, I'm from Brazil. I live here for four years and a half. Okay. And um, I'm come for Fredericton because my husband work need to work. Okay. And I come for Canada uh, together, my husband and. Um, I love the city. I love here. No, Fredericton is a beautiful yes, city. It is. It people is. People are friendly. Yes, very here. friendly. And um, have a two, two children, two boys. Yes. Uh, Davi and Enzo. And uh, I love cooking. And uh, I'm cooking in Brazil and come for cooking in Canada now. <laughs> well, absolutely. And, and, and it's great. So I know that uh, we can find you at the uh, Northside Creators Market Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Um, in, in, in their food room. But, uh, and you're also a personal chef. So you, we, can, we can order stuff from you and you, you'll bring it to us. We were talking just before we started filming that you're, you're all over the Maritimes, aren't you? You're delivering food to <laughs> Halifax. Yes. You're up in Miramichi yes. and all that fun stuff. How how did that all get started? Cooking is my pa passion. Yeah. I'm who likes when cooking. Okay. And I uh, uh, have a lot of people, Brazilian people here in Atlantic now. And uh, come more all the time for the studying, for work. And uh, now have a, a lot of people for, uh, with um, cooking here, Brazilian food. Having mountain one or two. But here it's me alone. <laughs> just you, eh? You're yeah, the just me. Well, that's and nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, now I'm cook. People call for me. Raj, please make a, a food. I'm. I, I, I miss you. It's a eat coxinha. <laughs> I need eat coxinha. If we okay, I make. In this moment, I make my my small business. Yep. And I have an, a space in Northside Creator Market, and people come. For for eat Brazilian food, and um, sometimes I make delivery in in the Atlantic for Halifax, St. John, Moncton, Truro, uh, now Miramichi because I, I have clients in Miramichi, but I, I need to go for Miramichi. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. So, before this, we were saying that there's there's a pretty big Brazilian population here in Fredericton alone. Yeah. So you were saying what? How many people? Um, you speak for me, people in, in CAF, it's a may, may, uh, 40 family, 100 family here. 100 families family here. here in Fredericton? Yes. And the Moncton, 2,000. Wow. Yes, well, that's and, and I guess and everybody wants to have that little piece of home, so <laughs> you making these coxina is a great way. Perfect. So let's get started. So how do we go about it? Two cups of water. Two cups of water, okay. Two cups of water. i uh, waiting for boil. I put, this is a... Uh, Salt, I put one spoon, but it's a, uh, you prove, need more, put more. So to it's taste, a, yes. absolutely, okay. To test. Uh, turmeric. Put your turmeric in yes. there now, okay. For color. And the And then your chicken, your, your chicken broth, yes. okay. Can you use regular chicken broth, so in the, uh, in the, in the, in the packs? No, I use, I, I'm cooking okay. uh, chicken. And use and use the, the juice from the yeah, chicken. Yeah, juice the chicken. Okay, and if you don't have that, then that's yes, when you use the powder. Yes. Fantastic. I use. I, I speak for this because sometimes people cook uh, chicken in, in your house mm -hmm. and uh, have a little bit uh, uh, chicken. Oh, yeah. I make one pasta. I make coxinha. No problem. Use. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. In coxinha, you put uh, uh, is normally use chicken, but uh, people put sausage. But others. Well, you can do whatever yes, you want. Meat, yeah, meat, uh, no problem. But uh, traditional coxinha is chicken. It's chicken. Yes. So let's talk about that. Um, I was doing a little bit of reading before we uh, we started because you had given me the recipe, and it's kind of neat how recipes kind of evolve and become. So the coxinha was created because there was a fussy prince who yes. would only eat 
chicken, chicken legs. legs. Yes. And then yes. because they were running low on chicken legs and they yes. didn't want to get in trouble, yes. they created this cochina, yeah, yes, which is like un un unbelievable. Yeah. And the um, cochina uh, in Brazil, uh, uh, people uh, love cochina in Brazil, and now people love cochina in the world. Well, no, and absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Cochina is, uh, 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 is the best snacks in Brazil and the best snacks in the world now, people love. Wonderful. So. So you keep on saying that we're making pasta, which it, it, which it is. It's almost like a, uh, a and making pasta but with warm water, which is kind of an yes. interesting way to make dough. So this is kind of neat. Yes, I put now it's uh, milk, okay. one cup. One milk. cup of milk. Is a uh, one spoon for okay. margarine or butter. Or uh, don't eat. Uh, your your family know it uh, uh, have an allergy for milk. Use oil okay. or, uh, or or olive. Okay, so olive you can. Okay, perfect. No problem. You change for people allergy. as you need to. Absolutely. So we're gonna bring it up to a boil. Yeah. Okay. Bring for boil now. For. Butter. Until the butter's <laughs> the all melted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need. So here in the fry. Um, uh, in the pasta, need to uh, uh, boil a lot for put fat in the flour. Well, yeah, because you want to be able yes. to cook the starch out of it, because right? Because you you look, it's no no a lot of boil. It's a pasta, no good. Okay, I got gotcha. you. When you put when you put uh, fat in the flour, a pasta no no have a test. You test her, no no good. Okay, well yeah, test you want you want to yeah, cook the cook, uh, yeah. cook it out pr properly. Okay, need and how long does that take? Um, it's a 10 minutes. Okay. It's a, it's a, when, uh, it depends uh, for your uh, stove. D absolutely yeah. right. Depends on how Be hot your yes, burners are. Hot, yes. yes. Because in, in the house, it's uh, simple, maybe 10 minutes. But here it's very fast. <laughs> it's going a little yeah. bit. So now it looks like we're already yeah. boiling. Perfect. <laughs> but I put, I put low here. Okay. So once it's boiling, you yeah. turn it down to a low. And then we add our three cups of flour. Yeah. Or almost okay. the three cups. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And then mix. So you said that you've got two, uh, two children, boy, yeah. girl? Two boys. Two boys. And yeah. do they help you make these? Help a lot. Help they, a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tonight help me for, I have a one big order okay, yeah. for Brazilian people come for Halifax for pick up here. Oh wow, yeah. And uh, one fryer snacks for me, other make a pasta for <laughs> for me. So it's an uh, assembly line. No, oh, that's fantastic. Now uh, when my husband in my house help, <laughs> yeah. the, now uh, our people now make uh, snacks in my house. <laughs> it must smell good at your yeah, place when you yes. start cooking, doesn't it? And the beautiful, beautiful pasta. Well, that's it, and, uh, and the color is really, really nice. Yeah, I love uh, uh, turmeric or curcuma. I don't know yeah. people need here uh, because it's a uh, your color is very, very beautiful. Absolutely. So this dough right away will be hot, won't it? So you're going to let yeah. that cool down. And how long do we let it cool down? Do you make this ahead of time and then do it the next day? Or or how long does it need to sit until we can start using it once it's done? No. Uh, when when finish here in the south uh, for, for Ben, yeah. no pasta. I, I mix to get in form here. OK. That's OK. That's done. We're ready to go. Yeah, done. And then all we have to do is cool that off, do we? Yeah, but I need uh, I, here. I need to put in the. Oh, you here? put it on. Okay. Yeah, for for one minute. Okay, and then do we need it? Yeah. Okay. But uh, sometimes no. But in first moment, uh, it's good. So for for. Sure thing. So yeah, put her down and. Here. Okay, and all we doing is we're just cooling it down. Is that we'll what's pick going? Pick up here. Okay. With the pasta is a. Okay, so it's slightly salt. sticky. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just salt in your hands. And it's soft. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, the flavor. Flavor is delicious. 
I have a, I, I have a lot of uh, Canadian clients here. Okay, yeah. Now in, in, in Northside Creator Market. No, that's lovely. People to go for it. And I make uh, one pasta and make a um, big mozzarella stick. Oh, mozzarella sticks yeah. with this. Oh, that'd but be I make a big for, for, for oh, people. Oh, fun. Yes. And people go in, in my space for it, coxinha and big mozzarella stick. And big mozzarella stick. Yeah. And, and it's the same, and you use the same yes, dough. Yes, uh, use the same pasta. So we're going to let this dough cool down a little bit, and then we'll be back to, uh, to form the cochina and, uh, and stuff it. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, we're in the Greener Village's Learning Kitchen with Regiana Kino from Brazilian Mix Cafe. Yeah. And uh, we're making her famous coxina or uh, Brazilian chicken balls. Yeah. Uh, We've uh, made the dough, Yeah. it's rested now, and now we're going to stuff them. So how do we go about doing that? I, now I, I model. Okay, yeah. I put for, pick up here, chef, please. So how much, do we, how, how much do we take? About a golf ball size? Uh, 50 grams? Yes. Okay. So no, that's... the grams here is uh, 25 grams. Oh, 25 grams of yes. dough, okay, so. But uh, it's a, uh, some, uh, okay, cool. sometimes people make a, uh, Small or or big, and in my space, I I'm a uh, sayer. It's a uh, big. It big ones, okay. Yes, big one. But is this same use for for party, for birthday or or party or or coffee or break. just hors d'oeuvres to or pass around? Yes. Yeah. Or for eating in your house, uh, is small. To make them, we have a little bit of dough, and we're not rolling it out. We're kind of forming it with our fingers, aren't we? Yeah, I use I use finger for. For mode. Okay, okay, so we've got our dough like this. I put here. Okay, I so you've got a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take down, and then you just make a disc like this. Yes. Okay, and then we make. Yes. A dent in it, eh? Yeah. Depending on fingers, about yes. a tablespoon of, of filling, right? Is yeah, it's one one small table food for for tea. Yeah. A spoon for tea. Perfect. Use. It's a, it's a and then we just gather it up like and that. And uh, together. Just like this. Yeah. All right. I uh, take out. Oh, you take a little bit off, okay? And I put in the finger here. And okay, the yeah. Palm of your hand, and uh, and then just kind of use uh, your thing for neat. Okay. Coxinha. Cool. How did I do, chef? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And you're saying you can make them as big or as little as you want. Yeah. They're, they're a great little thing that you can pass around as an appetizer. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Well, let's make a couple more here. Yeah. So we for get our practice. Make more for. For people eat. Right on. <laughs> we can stuff this with sausage, maybe yes. a little bit of ground beef. But it's uh, a uh, uh, change for model, the change. Yeah. But it's a uh, use a pasta for for sausage with sausages with uh, green beef or a che cheese. Yep. Could could, could we make these vegetarian or, or say vegan the, and use yes. uh, and not use milk and butter and maybe use like a, a uh, an alternative milk? For vegan, I use uh, palm heart cream. Okay. Or oh, use uh, uh, sausage uh, planted. Like a plant-based sausage? Plant -based okay, sausage. fantastic. And uh, for vegetarian, I use a cheese. I use a uh, uh, vegetables, cream. Okay, I yeah. I use artichoke dip. Oh, nice. I make artichoke with the spinach dip okay, together yeah. and make a cream and put inside. They're not as pretty as yours, Regina, but uh, I mean, I guess practice no, makes better, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it's a practice. Perfect. But it's beautiful. It is, and you know what? Because these are these yeah. are really nice and simple to yeah, make. Yes, I make for years. Is a make a well, a that's it. Well, yeah. <laughs> very experienced, but you for first time, it's very good. Well, thank you. Very good. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get the oil ready. Yes, so I we're going to get heat that up to probably about 340 degrees. Is that yes, what we're looking for? Yes, it's better. All right, so we because are fire very fast, but almost there. Like we were saying at the top of the show, that you, you're at the North Side Creators Market, yes. and uh, so you have your cochina. Uh, and what other dishes are you serving there? Have um, cochina, uh, empada, uh, cheese bread. Okay. Have, in my country, it's pão de queijo. Okay. Um, pastel. Uh, have a, 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 a what traditional uh, food in Brazilian is a feijoada. Okay. I make feijoada and uh, 
have a my, my kitchen, Brazilian kitchen, and outside Creator Market, have a lot of vendors with uh, uh, artisans and uh, 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 people make uh, Mexican food and Salvador food and uh, uh, people for farm, it's a product in farm, it's jam and uh, Oh no, absolutely, yeah. It's a yeah. good space for it with family. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you know what? The the, the food room at the Northside Creators yes. Market, it's almost like a Latin, Latino food room. Yes. And it, it, it is really nice to see, and it's fantastic. We, we, we've we had Jim uh, Jim Middleton on from uh, a, a few episodes back to talk about the Northside Creators Market yes. and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, yes. it's a great place to be um, and a great place to check out some really interesting food, yes. especially your stuff right there. Yes, so in Brazilian meat. <laughs> our oil is almost there, so we've got those made. Um, what's our next step? I put in water, have water here. Okay, we dip it in water, okay. Yes. And I'm we're dipping that in water, what, just to make the, uh, the breadcrumb stick? Yes, but we put the, in the water or, or milk, no problem. Okay, yes. Yeah. It put in the farina panca. Okay. And uh, you put for me. And then some, the some yeah, and just toss it around. Yeah. There yeah. we go. And then we've got little balls that look like that. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll just put that guy right here for now. Yeah. I put here for. There we go. We'll toss all those in. It's a fairly simple, is it? Yes, it's very simple. When are you uh, learning, it's very fast for make. No, absolutely. So, if you don't have a deep fryer at home or you don't want, can you put these in the oven? Um, use an air fry. But An air fryer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. But you taste no, no very good. It's a, you uh, need that fry frying. Okay, yeah. yeah, no. Fry is better. Uh, no, no use in your house. No have a thermometer. No need. You pick up one bunker and to go. When a fryer. When it starts to sizzle? Yeah, yeah. sizzle, you put. Perfect. So, let's just check the because temperature. It, because in, in house, uh, sometimes no use. I'm chef, you chef, you have. But yeah. people in house, in your house. No, no, you're right. And, and and to remember, when you're deep frying okay. at your in your house, you got to really be careful. If you've yes. got a little machine, it's great. But if we're shallow frying or for deep frying in something like this, no. we always have to make sure that um, that you watch the amount of oil and that you have a uh, fire extinguisher and stuff handy. So mm -hmm. we're looking good right now. We're about 345. So those should be good to fry yeah, i put here perfect in uh in your house your fryer it's a uh, small pan yeah. no need a big pan here because i need to uh, put a lot but it's a fryer it's a four and four three and well that's three, it so we'll just yeah small. we'll put one yeah. more in there and i think that should be enough because yeah. we don't want it to yes, boil over yes so that's something else to remember when we're frying stuff is that uh, just small batches is okay and then we're going to just kind of roll them around to ensure even cooking, right? Yes. So how long do they need to uh, to cook? Until they float? Dark gold. Okay. Or, or brown. Okay, yep. That's okay. You take out. But uh, you look. For you, it's uh, maybe in five minutes. Okay. Know. So, w but the, 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 the dough is already cooked, right? Yeah. And the chicken is already yeah, cooked. Yeah, cooked. So all we're doing is we're basically just yeah, warming everything yeah. up, right? Okay. No need a long time because cooking the dough, the dough uh, cooking the chicken, and the no need to fry it for a long time. Say I wanted to order some. Uh, do, you, do you cook them or do I have to cook them at home? I need cooking my at home. Okay. Because in, in market, no, no, no have uh, exhauster. You don't have hood vents, so hood you can't vents, deep fry. Yes. yes, for fryer. And I need fry. I, I live next to for, for mm. space. I need five minutes for, okay. for outside creator market. And uh, no problem. I fry it to go and have uh, one hour, hour in the space. Yes, yes. And put in temperature. In the and then, yeah, yeah, you've got it yes. in a holder. Yeah. Yes. I use thermometer for, for confident uh, for temperature and uh, put inside. It's no problem. Because for public health, that's okay. Well, because that's the temperature and the warm, it's normally for protection for bacteria. For so at home, you can't smell this, but we're really starting to get that nice smell of these. And it's not just fryer smell, but yeah. it, it's a nice smell like that. Uh -huh. So those are ready right there. You get that deep golden brown, just like that. We'll be back after these messages to, to try them out. So 
welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, we're in the Greener Villages Learning Kitchen with uh, Regian Aquino from uh, Brazilian Mix Cafe. And we're just finishing up these lovely uh, cochinas. And, uh, and there we go. So once they're all done, how do we eat them? So you just eat them like that? Is, is there a special sauce that you eat with them? We mentioned earlier in the break that you can put a little hot sauce on there but if yes, you want. Yes, so you put hot sauce. But is there anything traditional that we can uh, that, that, that we uh, use? No, in, in Brazil it's hot sauce. People love ketchup okay. or barbecue. Barbecue, okay. It's very good for eat with barbecue, same. Yeah. yeah but hot sauce is a specialty for in Brazil and here. People love with hot sauce. Did you go to school, or is this something that, uh, that, that you learned from your mom and your grandmother? No. I make a, a school and I make a, a lot of course in Brazil okay, yeah. with other chefs in Brazil. Here I make one course in, in Oxford, uh, one course in Oxford in Ontario. Okay, so you're, you're, you're taking online courses, yes, so I you're learn. still learning. Yeah. And like every I'm other chef. For, uh, yes, because I, I'm, I learn here because I... I I would like one one certificate for for Canada. I got you. Okay, yeah. so you've got your papers in yes. Brazil, but you're looking to become a Red Seal chef yes, here in, in Canada. Canada. Yeah, that's a great goal. That's yes, fantastic. I I I work with um, Canadian food here in yeah. the hotel in yeah. the Radisson Hotel. I I I love learning more, eat more, more experience for for other cultures. Other foods. And, that, and you know what, and that's a marker for a great chef and a great cook is someone <laughs> who's always looking to explore. Yeah. And the more you eat, the more you taste, the more you know, right? Yes. Well, that's yes. fantastic. So, this will be the first time, and I'll have to admit it, uh, I've been to the Northside Creators Market, yeah. but I go in for specific things and I n I'm never, I, I always have too much. And then I think about trying some of your stuff, but I'm too full. And I tell myself, I'm going to go back next weekend, yeah. and I'm going to go and try Brazilian Mixes stuff. Yes, and then no, I start, then I start chatting again, and then I have a pupusa, I have a taco. Yeah. And then I think the last time I came, I, you guys weren't there, so I was so, a little disappointed. Yeah, so sometimes have uh, music. That's because right, there is music Latinos there as well. Latinos love music. And Absolutely. Sometimes Brazilian people play guitar, or it's a sing, and... Uh, together it's Latinos in El Salvador and Mexico, together in Brazilian people, and make one band and make a, a, a music. No, you're space. absolutely right that they do do that every once in a while. <laughs> but these look fantastic. Um, so I'm going to try one. Yes, We don't please. have any hot sauce, uh, but uh, these look fantastic. Mm. <laughs> and these are delicious. I think between you and me and everyone out there that these could give samosas a run for their money. Yeah. These are fantastic. <laughs> it's different flavors. Mm, they are. Thank you so much for joining us today Thank and you. sharing a little bit about your story and sharing these lovely uh, coxina with us. They're great. And I think, you know what, this is going to be something that's going to be on my menu at home Yeah, a, more, a little bit more often. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, too, for, for inviting me. I'm very happy for here for a presentation for my, my culture and uh, my country. I love people in Brazil, and I love my, my clients here. It's Brazilian clients, Canadian clients, and uh, Latinos. And uh, thank you so much for, for, for inviting. It's very helpful.